Well, greetings, everybody. Thought I'd give you all an update. Yeah, I'm still alive. Haven't been put in prison yet for uh, hate crimes, but that's coming. Maybe not this year, but uh, it's coming. Uh, wow, I just can't believe the country that I grew up in is... Uh, as bad as it is, uh, people go into prison for years for hate crimes, and then people that commit rapes uh, get uh, time served, you know, spending the night and a weekend in jail and, you know, $500 to bail them out. Uh, unbelievable. Importing millions of third world heathen aliens that uh, in times past, their ancestors murdered every white person on the island, uh, an island. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's an island that recently uh, killed a missionary. It was in the news a few weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, YouTube is hardly anybody sees me anymore. And uh, I keep getting strikes. There was a couple times I was one strike away from the whole channel being deleted. So I want to keep the channel up as long as possible. Uh, Odyssey and Rumble, yeah, nobody sees me hardly. Uh, Bright Eon, that was a bust. Gab was a bust. Twitter X was a bust. I mean, people could see you for a while, and then when they figure out, hey, wait a minute, this guy is... Uh, quoting the Bible and Jesus, well, we got to make it so nobody can see them. So unless you're subscribed to me, you don't see anything I do. Uh, Gab, let's see, Twitter. Oh, face fascist book. Yeah, that was another one. Boy, they banned me from that twice. Uh, yeah, it's bad. I mean, it's really bad. Of course, when the enemy took control of our money supply, they were able to print all the money they needed to buy up pretty much everything. So here it is. They own the food companies, poisoning us with that, uh, buying up all the social, so-called socialist media companies, uh, which is one of the Rules for revolution, revolution in the uh, under communism. Maybe we should read those. Well, let's take a look at some uh, communist rules for revolution. Number one, corrupt the young, get them away from religion, meaning Christianity. Let's see. Did they take uh, prayer and? Uh, Bible reading out of public schools? Yes, they did, 1964. I am the last generation that had Bible reading and prayer in Jesus' name in public elementary school. What are they else are they corrupted us with? Uh, violent video games, uh, porn. Yeah. Number two, break down the old moral values. Uh can you say LBGT month? Oh, yeah. Encourage, number three, encourage civil disorders and a soft government attitude towards crime. Um, what about BLM and Antifa burning down parts of cities? Um, you know, I had a buddy of mine that I grew up with that I love dearly thinks, oh yeah, it's it's definitely the guns. And I'm like, dude, they got people that have been committed violent crimes and been released from jail 13 different times. I mean, why don't you just get rid of the evildoers instead of the tools that they use to commit their crimes? Oh, that's just an isolated incident. Yeah, isolated incident times a millions. Yeah. I mean, seriously. Uh, you know, I mean, it, when you release the criminals, what do you think is going to happen? Crime, right? 
Number four, divide people into hostile groups, race, religion, etc. Uh, feminism, uh, racism, uh, yeah, you get the idea, divide people into groups. Number five, get people's minds off their government by focusing their attention on athletic sex, uh, oh, basketball, football, baseball, car racing, uh, playboy, yeah, and worse. Let's see. So that's being done. Number six, get control of all media. Well, find out who owns the media and you'll know who's behind all this. Number seven, destroy people's faith in their leaders. Uh, yeah, presidential debates, Congress, uh, our infrastructure is falling apart here in the United States, but we got money to send over to governments that hate our guts overseas yeah number eight here's my favorite cause the registration of all firearms to eventually confiscate yeah isn't it in the news all the time all these mass shootings if only we could ban all the guns yeah we'll end up like uh our buddies in um the communist countries. Yeah. All right. So what else? Let's see if I can find the rest. Oh, yeah. Uh, divide people up in the groups. Uh, don't forget white supremacy, right? Oh, yeah. So. And just remember, this is the group that owns the media is the group that owns the um uh, we're behind communism. They're also one quarter of our Congress. There are three out of seven of our Supreme Court men members. And uh, do you know we had a one, one of them for a president? His name was Roosevelt. Actually, we had two Roosevelts. Um, yeah. So they've been around for a long, long, long time. Um, what about the Communist Manifesto? Well, number one, abolish private property. You ever heard of the Great Reset? You'll own nothing and be happy? Well, I don't know about that. Yeah, they want to make it so you don't own anything. Number two, a heavy progressive income tax. The more you make, the more we take. Number three, abolish all rights of inheritance. Uh, that falls into number two, got to pay tax. Number four, confiscate property of people that rebel, rebels, people that don't go with the program. Uh, can you say civil forfeiture? Look it up. Police can pull you over in your car, take anything they want, claim, they just, they just have to say, well, we think this was used in a crime. And then you... I've got to go to court and get a judge to agree that it's wrong and return your stuff. Good luck with that. Can you afford $350 an hour for a lawyer? I can't. Uh, they can take your bank account. Yeah. Number five, a central bank. Boy, that's in every single country in the world virtually. Um Government control of communication and transportation. You ever heard of the Department of Transportation? Department of Homeland Security? Department of Transportation? Let's see, the FCC? Oh, yeah. Government control of factories and agriculture. Uh, part, Department of De uh, the USDA, Department of Agriculture, OSHA. Government control of labor, number eight. OSHA. Number nine, corporate farms and regional planning. Department, Department of Agriculture. Government control of education. Uh, do they have control of education? Department of Education, right? I say we're pretty close to being there, don't you think so? I do. So I think I'm going to get off um, 
all socialist media. I need to start working on my book, how I came to the knowledge of what's going on today. Uh, I'm going to weave Bible stories. What I, be uh, what I believe is going to happen in the future based on what the Bible says and history. For example, the Bible teaches that the man of sin, the son of perdition, the Antichrist, the beast, uh, is going to be presenting himself in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. And he's going to have a false prophet that's going to be doing miracles, bringing fire down from the sky. Uh, that's well documented in my uh, Elijah study, E-L-I-J-A-H. Uh, hour and 40 minutes. So I'm going to take, uh, make it, I'll try to make a story out of everything. Because the average churchgoer doesn't know that they're going to be hunted down and killed by the heathen aliens, by our own government that's run by the enemy. So uh, there'll be some survival type tips in it it'll be worth i think it'd be worth reading i really do uh why the pre-trib rapture is a lie um uh, oh and the king james bible online you know where you look up bible verses and words i mean here it is they had a comment se section where people could ask for prayers and bible questions and Chaplain Bob got banned for quoting Jesus because evidently quoting Jesus is hate against a certain group of people that put Jesus to death. Uh, and no, I'm not talking about the Roman Catholic Church. I mean, it's it's bad, people. It's bad. I'm uh, and like I say, if you want to get my Bible studies, um, you know, leave a comment, whatever. I'll give you my address. Send me an SD card or something. And uh, I'll get you my work. But uh, yeah, I need, to, I need to start working on this book. I mean, I've been, want, I've been working on this book, well, planning this for 30 years. Seriously, 30 years. Over 30 years I've been planning this. Of course, I was a baby believer back then. But I'm not anymore. And uh, I've already started the book. I just need to um, write some more chapters and put it all together. I will probably post all the chapters online. Not sure how, uh, but if somebody wants a printed copy, I'm probably going to work, figure that one out too. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I doubt it. Amazon would print it, but maybe I could find a way to self print. I don't, I don't know. It's just insane the way things are going. I mean, it's just, I, I, I can't believe it. You got to realize, I grew up during the Vietnam War when the pigs would beat anti-war protesters over the head. You know, when you think back about it, we have never won a war against communism. That's because communism was created born and bred, created, financed by uh, people at uh, Wall Street. Yeah. Yeah. So I strongly suggest everybody get the book Behind Communism. Behind Communism, that's the title, by author Frank Britton, B-R-I-T-T-O-N. Very interesting used to be able to look up all the names of that he would mention of the communists in the 1925 Jewish Encyclopedia. I can't find it anymore. Uh, 10, 15 years ago, I could find it. I wish to God I'd have copied those articles, but I didn't. Anybody knows where it is, can find it. Let me know, please. I can't find it anymore. It's gone. So, and I mean, I've looked everywhere, different search engines and everything else so gone zip uh 
and what else that's that's about it so it's, it's just there's nowhere to go anymore can't do anything so i strongly suggest everybody make a survival type pack i got uh, playlists on that kind of stuff some of the most important things you could ever have would be a, a good solid knife or two or three and uh, and a way to make a fire fire starters very important you know fire can i remember one time we were camping in central florida on the peace river back back in the 70s late 70s you know living in miami working in miami i just wanted to get away from all the crowds so me and my buddies we used to rent a canoe um they would drive you upstream and about 20 22 miles away from uh where they were they were on the river peace river and uh you'd take your supplies for three days and you'd canoe down the river and then uh we do that on a three-day weekend and uh hardly any houses back then and i remember one time uh, well we would go in the winter We'd wait for a good cold snap so that all the mosquitoes would be killed or knocked down. And uh, here in Florida, usually when there was a cold snap coming in, it would rain just before the cold snap. Well, when we were young and stupid, uh, it rained. All our stuff got wet, all the clothes and everything else. And then the cold front came in. It was cold. We couldn't even sleep that night. It was so cold. Everything was wet. Uh, we learned to put everything in plastic bags after that, but um, it, all our matches and lighters got wet. It was hard to make a fire. Really, it was. But eventually we got a fire going and we're able to keep warm. But uh, yeah, you know, I was fresh out of the army. I was probably, what, 19 years old, something like that back then. Ancient history, you know. And uh, so the value of a fire, very, very important. Keep you, it can keep you alive in uh, freezing temperatures. So, and a good knife, very important, very important. You know, you get a fire, you can boil water and purify it so you don't get sick. Uh, if you have a knife, you can build a shelter, process food. Uh, very important very very important i got videos on all this stuff i've been doing videos for over 10 years now i think i got 2000 of them yeah i've been busy so oh people you know just remember judgments coming upon our people for disobedience and forsaking the Lord. I, I just cannot believe how bad things are now. And it's just warming up. The worst is yet to come. You know, the thing is, uh, oh, and uh, learn about edible plants. It might come in handy to feed you one day. Seriously. Um, almost there's all kinds of books on edible plants. Write me. There's a uh, very, very, very few people even know what's coming in, well, in the West, in the United States anyways. Everybody thinks they're going to fly out of here any second with the pre-drib uh, pre rapture. So, pff, idiots, fools. You know, and the only reason the, the uh, devil can get away with all this stuff is because... Believers will not read their Bible. They're too busy watching sports or soap operas or whatever movies come out or, you know. They they just have no idea. So, all righty. Uh, that's about it. And uh, so, if you don't see me posting on anymore which i haven't been doing much of anything because i want to 
like I say, want to keep the cha channels up as long as possible. You know, I still think about things, so it might be worth printing the book and carrying it into the wilderness. And let me tell you something, people. Matthew 24 makes it very clear. You might want to have a survival pack that you carry with you everywhere when the Antichrist start rebuilding their temple for their Messiah, the Antichrist, the man of sin, the son of perdition, the beast. John of Revelation calls him the beast. Um, John, uh, Paul, I think, calls the man of sin, the son of perdition, and I forget who else calls him the Antichrist. I think it's John. I think. Could be. Um, but it says that when the their Messiah goes into the temple of God and proclaims himself that he's God, the Bible tells you, flee to the wilderness. Don't go back home. Don't grab your coat. Run. Flee to the wilderness. Flee to the mountains. It's kind of hard to do in Florida, but yeah. So it might be good to have a you know back solid backpack with knife, fire starter, uh, things that you would need, you know, survival kit, canteen for boiling water and cooking. Uh, yeah, very very handy. Might you know, might save your you and your family's life one day. It's coming. Christians are going to have to live. They're going to have to live in the wilderness. Revelation 12. You know, and the thing is, when you show this to these so-called pastors, they explain all these verses away. Oh, that's for the Jews. That doesn't apply to the church. You know, God's not a wife beater. He wouldn't do that to us. You know, and just, yeah, they explain everything away. You know, I've got enough bad things I've done. I sure wouldn't want to be them on Judgment Day. No way. So. All right. Um, I, well, now you know why I haven't been doing much. And um, I've pretty much covered everything. Seriously. I, I don't know what else to to cover there's like no really new material you know if you've listened to all my videos i've covered pretty much everything i can't really think of anything new new sometimes i've covered the same material four or five different ways so all right everybody um chaplain bob and those of you that have supported me in the past appreciate it uh very much and uh, I just hope uh, maybe one day meet some of you, somebody in the wilderness, you know? Oh, and in the survival pack, <laughs> good idea to have a Bible. And by the way, they make an outdoors Bible. It's uh, paper. The papers, well, the pages are made out of a type of plastic with printing on it. They're waterproof. Uh, you can get a New Testament Psalms and Proverbs for about $25 on Amazon. Yeah. And then maybe have a regular paper Bible and, you know, in a waterproof case. Uh, poncho, camouflage poncho is good to have. Uh, yeah. All that's in uh, playlists, people. Playlists. My playlist on YouTube. So... All blessings, praise, glory, and honor. In Jesus' precious name, amen.